I'm Jared Elrod. This is my co-host Jeff Thun, mm -hmm. and uh, as you notice here, we have a new shirt. Someone, yeah, someone got us one. So this one's pretty awesome. It's actually both sides. The other side has something too. So we're thinking about taking the shirts, cutting out the screen print, and like either fr like framing it or like just pinning it to the wall or something. Because this one t totally has two awesome sides, and we can only show one at a time. So those stuff will be going up soon. Again, if you saw our last episode, send us stuff in. You can be cool too. If you want, we'll even say your name. And you can even send us a picture. We'll put your goofy mug up on the screen. So, all right, uh, Jeff, what are we talking about today? We're talking about... I ask you because I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> I don't either. Actually. It's Avengers something. Yeah. New I... Avengers? The Avengers? It's not Avengers Prime. No, I think it's just Mighty Avengers. Mighty, Mighty, Mighty yes, Avengers? Mighty. Because they've split now. So there's like three Avengers teams. There's mm -hmm. New Avengers, Mighty Avengers, and what's Steve's team? Secret Avengers. Secret Avengers. So yeah, this one's Mighty. And this uh, led by Luke Cage. Which, I don't know, I still don't quite buy him being the leader. Like, he's he doesn't have like the... The history of it, like a Cyclops or Captain America. Well, he, he doesn't, doesn't have really, the tactical ability. Yeah, and he doesn't really have the strategic brain. He has the moral capacity, but he doesn't really have... That, like, both... Well, like, Batman has the moral capacity, too, but he doesn't lead the Avengers. No, I... No, no, no. no. I mean Justice moral League. capacity in terms of, like, you know, he brings up stuff. He's not he's not a soldier. Like, he's going to question... Like, he's not going to go in there like, all right, let's kill all, all these babies. It's a genocide. Blah, blah, blah. We've been ordered by the UN. He's going to be like, excuse me? There's going to be a little, like, uh, you know, in the little titles, there's going to be, like, the little... What? The little swearing shapes. He's like, what are you talking? And like, he would literally, like, go and fight the entire Avengers. Like, so he, that's what I meant by that. He's got a strong moral. Not like Wolverine. Where Wolver the Wolverine's obviously changed a lot lately. Where, uh, but in the past. Especially we'll in this. He changes a little bit in this. I didn't, like. Oh, a few, yeah. Yeah, a few years ago, he would have been like, well, this ain't my problem. Type thing. They've really changed his character over the years. He's to make him more, more like a father uh, character. Yeah, people. he's now like that gruffy mentor. He's more of like a coach now. Yeah. Used to he was um he was like that like alcoholic uncle. <laughs> that like he just like he would show up every now and then he was he seemed pretty cool when he showed up like on his Harley and his leather jacket, but like your parents are like, Don't ever be alone with Uncle So and so kind of yeah. thing. And and now he's more of like the coach where like he's in your face and he says mean things, but you know it's because he really loves you. And that all really started changing with the X Men movies, like that whole him and Rogue kind of mentorship thing. And which are you? They have to, because otherwise, his, not as many people would care about his character. Yeah. He so really he's still got that. Relevant. Yeah, he's just still got that bad boy kind of thing, but at the same time, he's much more like a coach than the alcoholic uncle, in my opinion. So yeah, with that, this episode's gonna be kind of random because we weren't. Uh, super impressed with this comic. Um, we didn't dislike it. It definitely wasn't like, uh, what, what was the one? Oh, Batman Return of Bruce Wayne. We just straight did not like that one. Yeah. This one we enjoyed. It was a good read. But, okay, now... It was just, it didn't feel like a graphic novel as much as like a goofy Saturday morning cartoon to me. Yeah, it did feel... I could have easily seen the Teen Titans doing this instead yeah. of, uh, like, doing the storyline. Um, now, it wasn't goofy in terms of... Like, the characters and stuff like that. The goofy, like, what he's talking about in terms of... It just seems like one of those, like, walk around kind of... It was a, it was a smash him up Yeah, type, and then like, there was... Destroy everything in sight. Yeah, there's a bunch... It, it's it's to do with magic. So there's a couple key characters who are basically, for almost the entire comic, just standing around going, Who could it be? Who could it be? This person? No, not that person. And then, like, the rest of them just kind of stand around going... Oh, okay, some more monsters. They fight for a little bit. Okay, they're gone. Now what? You guys figure out yet? Who could it be? Who could it be? Oh, some more monsters. Let's fight. <laughs> and so that's why like, it literally could have been like a Teen Titans episode. Because like, yeah. I could totally see Beast Boy like, eh, like drool coming down. <laughs> How long is it going to take to figure this out? Yeah. But um, it, was... it wasn't bad. And now this doesn't work for Jeff because he actually prefers vanilla ice cream. But I, I am a chocolate guy. So to me, it was like vanilla. Like, it's not gross. It's not like... Oh, I can't eat that. But at the same time, it's like, you don't really want to pay money for it. It's like, eh, it's all right. Oh, someone give me a free vanilla ice cream cone. It's really hot. I'll go and eat it. But I would never, like, go and buy vanilla ice cream. So that's what it was to me. Like, I enjoyed the read, but if I had bought it for, what are those, $15, $20? If I had paid anything over $5 for it and got home, unwrapped it, and read it, I'd been like, oh, my money back. Mm -hmm. 
So, um... That's an accurate assessment of it. Yeah. Now, the one that you've read and I haven't that I want to get to is Secret Avengers. Because that, that one's... Lot, like, I think that kind of spoiled it for me, too, because I read the Secret Avengers first. Because there's three of them, they and they're really like, non-related. They blew my flipping mind. And I haven't read it yet, and we'll get into it in another it episode. so good. But it just, like, so here's good. what you have me, right? Secret... Okay, so there's the two Avengers teams, which, I mean, really, they've had two Avengers teams forever. Mm -hmm. There used to be Avengers East Coast, Avengers West Coast, and then they got rid of a lot, there was just the Avengers, like, like what close to 10 years ago now, where they had the whole breakout, and it was just mm -hmm. one team and everything. Well, then, around the Civil War, they had Secret Avengers, or... It was... Yeah, it yeah was the Secret the Avengers mighty, and the Mighty Avengers. Because there was the New Avengers, and then, yeah, then they got rid of the New and Mighty. So now they're back. There's just so many teams, but this one is Secret Avengers, and the whole idea is it's Covert Ops, or Black Ops Avengers, essentially. Which is, that's what I love about... Delta Force Avengers. Yeah, it's, it's the Black Ops... It's led by Steve Rogers. No, you don't have to correct me. Not Captain America. Bucky is still Captain America. Mm -hmm. Steve came back and said, "I'm too flipping cool for that role now." Not essentially, but it's yeah, so actually he kind of did because, and it was kind of confu confusing. Which we're, now we're talking about Secret Avengers and so yeah. on. But oh well, and it's like. He was so much cooler because he didn't have like the campy like I'm a soldier. I have to represent of, the flag of and... Captain America. He was a lot darker, a lot more brutish. He felt more like a Batman. Yeah, yeah. and he he's really changed a lot. If you think about it, because he was like all about representing the country. Well, it made it painfully clear during Civil War that the country no longer is what it used to be, and no longer, even though the Constitution still says this, the country acts... People really don't care about it as much. And, you know, the government... So, I, so he kind of, like... I think he almost had, like, the country up on a pedestal, and it got knocked down. And so now he's, like, just Steve Rogers, which I guess he still has a captain rank, because they still call him Cap, you were saying. Yeah, and I haven't read this. And that could just be everyone, like, you, when you call somebody yeah. Cap for 25 yeah. years... Like, like, it'd be, like, how you gonna all stop? of a sudden, like... Batman comes back and it's like, oh, hey, you've been doing a good job. I'm just going to walk around in like a black, like, just like black slacks and a black button up shirt and I'm just going to kick the crap out of bad guys. You can call me Bruce. Like, how many people would call him Bruce? I'd be afraid to call him Bruce. I'm like, I'm not calling you Bruce. You're Batman. I don't care what you're wearing. You're Batman. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Or, uh, honestly, if they just something like that with Batman, in the Batman, remember, uh, Return of Bruce Wayne when he had that really cool, like, black. Like, mm -hmm. and then, like, the little silver highlighter or whatever. It kind of looks like that Cy Cyclops costume a little bit. Yeah, it was cool. But anyways, let's get back to the story. So, I don't know. It's just, the whole idea in a nutshell is just, um, we don't know who until the end. Um, uh, but, like, there's all like kinds five of... Five or ten pages. Yeah, there's, like, all this, like, magical stuff going wrong. Um, both Doctor Strange and, um, not Damon, um, what's his name? Satan's son. This is oh, horrible. It's just Damon. Damon. It's, like, the older version of Damon. Get possessed, and again, refer back to our magic episode, because we're saying this nonchalantly, but there's obviously serious implications with all the magic stuff, so go back to our magic episode that we talked about magic and all that kind of stuff, in case you're confused of why we're just talking about magic, like, there's nothing to do with it, it's just part of the story, we're not going to take yeah, the Yeah, it's a very, a very important element, and like, we were talking about, we were like, what do we do? Basically, Doctor Strange, who is no longer the Sorcerer Supreme, um, though he's still the most powerful sorcerer on yeah, the that doesn't make he's sense. He's one of them, or something. And the son of Satan named Damon, and what was the other guy's name? Um, Doctor Voodoo, or I thought. Yeah, they call him Doctor Voodoo now instead of Brother Voodoo. Voodoo. Are, like, taking possession of. No, uh, not Doctor Voodoo, just uh, Damien and Stephen Strange are. Yeah, um, they're taking by possession the of. Eye of Agamotto. Well, see, that's the thing, though. You just run it for the viewers. I was just... The whole... Well, it's, I'm talking about the device, not the person. Yeah, but we yeah. don't know. Well, anyways, the whole thing is there's something magically going wrong. And, like, even these, like, magical people, they can't figure it out. Even, like, these, like... They're, like, demons, but they're, like, of light or whatever. Like, they can't figure out where they're from. They don't know what's going on. Well, like, the entire comic, they're literally, like, trying to figure this out. They can't. All of a sudden, Spider-Man goes... Because the person's trying to get the eye of, um... Eye of... Agamotto. Agamotto. And all of a sudden, Spider-Man goes, well, maybe uh, this Agamotto guy wants his eye back. And they both stop. They look at each other. And Spider-Man goes, that was a joke. I was joking. And it turns out that that's actually what was happening. And so they ended up having to fight him. And, uh, well, they did it. I'll let you tell they this They get part. into, like, this weird seance circle. All of them. Jessica Jones, everybody. In the seance circle with um, Dr. Voodoo in the center. And they cast, like... 
voodoo sentience or something like that. All their combined like ethereal energy. It was or very something. Power Rangers to me. Yeah, it was very Power Rangers. Because like every time like the Power Rangers couldn't beat a bad guy, like they'd all combine like their little toy plastic looking weapons to one, mm -hmm. and then like the Red Ranger would be like Ultra Mega Super Laser Sword Cannon Gun Aim Pixie Dust Fire. Like the the spinny energy thing would come out and hit the bad guy. And he'd be like. Rah! Yeah, so basically Dr. Voodoo is going to take on all their attributes, and, and Wolverine's like, nah, let me do it. Yeah, everyone's like, that's an awful idea, it's stupid, and Wolverine's just like, heck no, I'm doing this. And then the Damon guy's like, suddenly I don't hate this anymore. Yeah, well, because they, no one wanted to do it when it was going to be Dr. Uh, Voodoo. They're like, this is not going to work. Like, the magic guys who are experts are like, this is horrible. And then, yeah, Logan's like, I'll do it. And yeah, they're like... All of a sudden, not hating the idea. Okay, so like he basically gets all their powers and goes and fights and uh, and it has this uh, image of Wolverine. He's got Iron Fist's dragon, like emblazoned, like burned into his chest. And I was like, about how many people do you think are gonna get that tattooed onto their chest now? Probably none. I think it's gonna be more than none. Like, how many? I don't know. How many Iron Fist fans are there out there? None, but there's a lot of Wolverine like, fans, and he looked cool. Like yeah, that. but like that, you're not like putting the Iron Fist logo on your chest has a, unless they have a tattoo of Wolverine with the thing on his chest, and Wolverine's all like the the energy stuff coming off of him. And it won't be like the lame yellow one. I'm talking about where it's all burned. It actually looks like it's like like it's cooled off yeah. by then. Okay, well let's take the last three minutes to talk about. We just have to add the disclaimer of okay, we were just talking about this one. Um, essentially. Because we read it. And yeah, and there wasn't really, we were talking about ahead of time, like, what topic are we going to talk about? And, like, well, we don't really want to talk about magic, because we did an entire episode, or two episodes, actually, mm -hmm. on it. Um, so we've covered that. There wasn't really, there's was some other stuff, but there's nothing really super good. But I just want, I do want to say before we're done, because we're almost done here, is the way we're just, like I said, nonchalantly talking about magic, like, by no means are we endorsing it, or like, wow, I'm totally offended. They're talking about magic, and say out circling like it's no big deal. No, it's within the context of the story. Of course, we completely disagree with it. Most of the stuff is fictional anyway. It's like, it's not even realistic magic. Um, so yeah, again, I, go watch that, our magic episodes. You'll put the links up so they can yeah. they can see them. Um, and really, we're just kind of just kind of poking fun at the story because it's not very Marvel-like. And this is actually a joke I was making with Jeff, which is a compliment to Marvel, even though we're talking trash about this one book, is it's like, wow, it kind of sucked because it was just good. It's like, I'm used to Marvel being like... Amazing. Like, if it was a DC book, it would have been really good. But because it's Marvel, it kind of wasn't that good. Like, you know, you know, that's a good testament to your company when you produce a good title and it sucks because people it's are not used as good to as what you're yeah. Using people are used to exceptional titles compared to like DC. It's like, well, it, it was good for them, you know. Like, and again, I'm I default to DC. I'm a huge DC fan. But I just, I, I can't be stupid and lie about it. Like, Marvel does a better job. And again, I'm coming from the DC side. Marvel does such a good job at their stories, their character arcs. They're, they're like, they're so in-depth. And yeah, some of the DC characters are way cooler, you know, like. But it doesn't matter, because it's still better written. And DC stuff is still a little bit on the cheesy side. So you got one minute if you want to express anything. I just thought All right, was, so with that, we're in. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty cool how every time they did a spell in this, I, there was like the super type of everything, how they're, that it's just, it's saying the spell and how it works, and I thought like, that's definitely, they put a like, an almost like documentary feel into the magic side of it, which was really, it was, they kind of hid it from like, back in like the shadows, because I think they just didn't want to really do anything with it, like Doctor Strange has been a very quiet, dark character for a while. Yeah, that was cool, I enjoyed that too. Um, not because I'm into magic, but just because it's interesting to show. Like, that's one of the things I loved about, like, Dragon Ball Z, or really just Japanese stuff, is all their attacks have names. So it's not just like, oh, what did he just do? He blasts them with energy. It's like there's a name for it. It's the Kamehameha Wave. But um, with that, we're actually out of time. So we'll see you guys next week where we talk about Green Lantern Rebirth.